but there we go. Guys, I hope everyone is enjoying the show. As always, if you are new to the stream, make sure you are hitting that like button. I can see how many people are locked in, and I can see how many likes there are. The likes should always be higher than the amount of people locked in, so if you haven't already, make sure you are hitting the like button. And if you're in the chat, uh, make sure you are telling people to like the video, because it makes a massive difference when everyone gets involved. Uh, Benny Code is saying, can you please make a video on it later? At some point, I probably will. Um, I won't be able to do anything else today. Um, I'm probably going to go to bed after the stream. I won't lie to you. I'm not in a good way, my friend. I'm not in a good way. Um, but we're going to carry on with the stream and do at least an hour today. This one then, uh, from back in other da 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 day um, out to faith on the suggestion. This one, 13 years ago, I think they said, yeah, 2008. 13, 14 years ago. Mad. Um, Oliapo saying, oh, wow. Um, Star Plus from ages ago. Again, this is why I like doing this show, man. I find, I find out about history from this show, which I really enjoy. Um, I'd love to sit in one of these if it was about like UK dubstep or UK grime or something like that. It's the sort of sounds I grew up on. I'd love to see someone do something similar. Uh, but there we go. Let's get into it. Retro video. Yeah, brand new from Star Plus Crew. Picture this: one girl, two glasses, out of table for two. A proper Whoa, Channel U kind of, um, kind of throwback bed. for me. You were sitting in another corner, sitting on the table for two. Oh yeah, babe. this is mad. Like I know, you know what? Someone got really upset at me um, in the comments. Basically, I can't remember who it was. It was someone who's commented on a few, and he, I think I think they always seem to just get they get annoyed at any video I upload. They've commented on a few things. Um, but I said about, I can't remember what tune it was, but it was about, it might have been a, it might have been a show them camp tune. And I said it has a real kind of um, vibe of like early 2000s. And they got so upset at me saying like, obviously that's from where it's from. Stop being so high and mighty. And I remember looking at it going, like I say it's, it, it's because that's what it's from. Very, very bizarre. But again, I'm getting a similar vibe off this one. Sorry, I'm very aware that this came out 13 years ago, but it sounds like it's of the time. Early um, sort of 2000s um, or sort of mid, mid 2000s by the sounds of things. Um, just in general, that sort of R&B-ish sort of wave that overtook um, um, America at the time, uh, people like Ashanti and and people in that kind of realm that had this really kind of fusion of hip hop and R and B. Like the beats were the beats were R the beats were hip hop, but the uh, vocals were R and B. And this is a similar sort of vibe I'm getting off this one with the very sort of not mon monotone, but very sort of um like uh, not super melodic style of singing. Um, but yeah. Then I saw you whisper into the way the mister and I thought you were talking about me, baby. This is really fun. <laughs> Shame the video is so quiet, but obviously it's been ripped off a, a TV show, or not TV, show, probably been ripped off a music channel and then uploaded down the line. Um, you can see just by the way the video is shot um, and the way it's actually been uploaded, this is like old, old. Um, like this is a rip of someone playing the video. Um, out to um, Dominic Andrews saying better videography than their contemporaries. Very interesting. Uh, also saying Star Plus and P Square pioneered theme based uh, music in the early days of Afrobeats. There we go. Um, interesting stuff. First time reacting to uh, Star Plus for me, but I can definitely hear that sort of pioneering element in it. Like there's something very. Again, again, it's just of the time, isn't it? That sort of early 2000s period where near enough everyone wasn't singing as much, but were trying to kind of approach that, if that makes sense. Like they were all going for that sort of singing sort of sound. Uh, out to Deadly Lord saying they're one of those Twitter goons getting their feelings for nothing. Again, I'm presuming you're talking about the uh, guy that, um, that commented on... Um, I don't even know it was a guy. I don't know. I'm assuming that. But I'm assuming it is. Um... That it was a yeah. Someone just commented saying, "No, you know nothing. It's a, it's an insult." I was like, I, "Of course, I know nothing. I'm here to learn." That's the entire point. Um, but yeah, very very interesting. Bags reactions. It's in the building. I'm so happy. Good, sir. Good to see you. How are you? I hope you're well. I hope you're better than I am. I'm very much in the mud today. Um, good to see you. Everyone, say hello to Banks in the chat. Uh, one of my favorite reactors on YouTube. So yeah, make sure you um, make sure you go and follow Banks if you haven't already. <laughs> Really nice harmony on the vocal. 
it's that the baby I'm beginning to imagine There's something real yeah, the vocal I the video is just reminding me of Channel U like if you grew up in the uh if you grew up in the UK you know what Channel U is the way the video shot again it really reminds me of that type of thing uh Dominic Andrews saying they split unfortunately and the group hat died a natural death that's a shame man that's a shame um I would really like to kind of, you know I this almost reminds me of someone like uh like a T2 here in the UK someone used to listen to at that sort of time period or like a tiny temper or someone of that sort of early era um yes everyone everyone go and follow banks if you haven't already go and follow banks good to see you my friend i hope you are well um out to um banks say my secondary school jam i get the uh, that's the i get that sort of vibe of it mo it does have that sort of i don't know i feel like this is a tune that i'd be listening to on headphones on the way to school this isn't a back of the bus jam um, this feels like a tune you listen to when you're going home on your ones and you have it in your headphones. Um, one of the singers was at my sister's wedding. That's mad. That's mad. Um, out to Manny B's saying, um, hello, Cub Cam. They have better songs. My personal favorite is a track called Imagine That. That one's a classic. Everyone sings along. I'll definitely check it out at some point. Hopefully we can do it on a live stream again. For those who aren't aware, I purposefully don't go and listen to other songs unless they're suggested on the live stream now, just so I can have a genuine reaction as much as I can and we get to all experience it together. That's the whole point of doing these live streams, um, sort of being having my eyes open more than anything else. But let's go. You haven't yet moved. Ooh, yeah, babe. Ooh, yeah. This is really fun, man. Guys, let's get some ratings in the chat on the right-hand side. I don't normally do ratings for old like, tunes that are more than five years old because obviously they're of the time. It's quite difficult to compare them to now. Um, on every single level, level, sound has changed. Production techniques have changed. Production kind of availability has changed. Everyone knows a lot more about sound than they did sort of 10, 15 years ago across all genres. Everything's a lot cleaner now. But based on what we are hearing um, on this current tune, let me know what you think out of 10 in the chat on the right-hand side. Um, out to uh, Faith saying, oh, no, I'm late. I, you are late. We're doing yours, Faith. I'm saying I hope you're enjoying the song. I really am. Um, I won't lie to you. Again, I'm in the mud today. I'm not in a great um, a, a state. Um, I drank far too much red wine yesterday, um, and I'm definitely paying for it today. Uh, but this is a tune that's very warming, I feel. It's a very warm, sort of uh, nostalgic kind of throwback. The way the vocals sit on top of each other, those really kind of classic-sounding, old-school um, vocals, the way they sort of harmonize, just has that sort of backing sort of drop to it as well. Um, again, I can't really comment on anything technical because the uh, the technicalities I can't really because that's what it was at the time you know I can't really rate that um, out out of anything but there we go loads of interesting uh, scores on the uh, boards Deadly Lord 5 out of 10 saying not my type of music that's fair enough sir that's fair enough Banks saying 10 out of 10 Ole Apo saying 9 out of 10 um, Dominic Andrews saying 10 out of 10 Faith saying 9 out of 10 Dominic Andrews also saying I miss Nigeria oh, madness 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 right uh, we'll give this one another 30 seconds and then we will uh, finish up I reckon that this is sort of like prime time Channel U. How many people in the chat remember Channel U, by the way? Um, how many people in the chat know about Channel U more than anything else? Like Channel U is like the UK's, for those that aren't aware, it was a channel we had. It changed to Channel AKA down the line. But when it was Channel U, it was basically sort of underground sort of UK grime, UK rap, UK hip hop sort of videos um, that just used to kind of play. And there used to be a sort of playlist of like 40, the same way you've got sort of MTV or like the Hits TV or, um, or Kerrang or anything like that. All of these big... Um, um, all of these all of these things but in the UK Channel U was like ours like it felt like the thing that we could watch and it was part of what we were all listening to growing up I don't know why but I'm getting serious vibes of this in that if that makes sense it's just the way that it's shot the way that the, the actual sounds are I'm getting a proper proper throwback to that uh, Banks saying me um, Miss Divinity saying yeah um 
Deadly Lord saying, um, I remember Channel U. Uh, IK Fuego saying, I do as well. IK Fuego with the uh, rating as well, giving this one a 7 out of 10. We have got a very um, lively chat today. Wow. Um, alongside this, Miss Divinity saying, uh, not for me. That's fair enough. Uh, Mary Simon saying 10 out of 10 based on what was released in Nigeria. They were the best then. Uh, Banks saying, greatest R&B group to come, group, R&B group to come out of Nigeria after uh, Plantation Boys. Okay, I have, to, I have some digging to do. Um, right. We're going to move forward. We're going to move on to the uh, next one of today. Um, out to... Um, I need to make sure I'm doing this right. Out to Aiden Egbe. Aiden Egbe, I think that's how you pronounce it. Let me know if I'm wrong. I apologize um, for my phonetic uh, reading ability. It's terrible. Saying that these were memorable times. Our music industry was still young and growing. Uh, Banks saying Channel U, home of UK urban music. Secondary school days, Channel U. Yeah, bro, I, I spent so much time with it just on. I don't, I've never had a TV in my room um, just because there's no sort of signal um, wherever I've lived. Um, and... Even with that, I used to have Channel U on. I used to go to friends' house and Channel U was always on. I don't know why this reminds me of sort of Channel U so much. Uh, Faith saying, imagine that. Uh, I think Dominic Andrews has changed his request. Uh, I have not dropped my CK request. Um, comment, imagine that, if you want me to change my request and post, postpone CK time. Guys, it's up to you in the chat. Do you want CK or do you want to see some more um, of Star Plus down the line? Before that, though, we've got another tune to get into. It is IK Fuego's suggestion, Fioke alongside Oxlade and Simi. This one is going to put me in a good mood. We're in for a ride. We're in for a ride, people. Uh, this one, uh, Dominic Andrews' suggestion. Uh, imagine that from Star Plus. Again, we are dipping into the history books today. Um, I only hope to uh, do this one justice. Again, I can only apologize for the state I'm in. Not feeling great, but we're going to roll through. We're going to push forward and get into this one. Uh, let's go. Everybody move your body now. Forget about the blue day. Hear those acidic pulses. Everybody move your body now. Forget about the blue. Mad. <laughs> Oh man, this is so of the time. It's fantastic. Like this just takes me back to being like, being young. Like I um obviously this isn't what I was listening to at the time, but the way everything sounds, the way everything's processed, the production value. Um, like everything in the way the track's been built just reminds me of being young like being really young as well not just like young but being like a child basically um, what's the name of the ch- this really reminds me I don't know the name of the tune but now that we found love what are we gonna do again that's what it really reminds me of um, I don't know if anyone else is feeling that but the arrangement the bounce on it it just sounds very similar to good day, good day, good day. I can very much understand why this was as popular as it was. I can instantaneously understand exactly why. There is so much, again, energy, I presume, of the time. Um about this about this just the kind of uplifting nature of the vocals the way the drums are built this is an era where electronic production had just become the norm um i feel and you're now getting these very kind of uh in your face pulsy kind of acidic rolls just sort of those sort of sounds you can hear that um throughout the way the tune's been put together um and it just has this really kind of i don't want to say intoxicating but it pulls you in even um even down the line, despite the fact this was so long ago, it still has that like a, a, ability to kind of like pull you in. Um, out to uh, everyone in the chat, loads of people loving the sounds of this one. Uh, out to Kome, having fun as always. Uh, Mary Simon with the dancing emojis. Uh, Dara saying, yeah, imagine that gets me in my feels every time. Faith saying, let's go. Uh, Manny B's banger, uh, happy song. Faith with the uh, party emojis and the champagne corks uh, bussing. 
uh, alongside this. Roy N with the fire emoji saying memories. Uh, Al- Deadly Lord saying alkaline black heart. Next, we will not. Uh, do- we you get one suggestion each, basically. So the first thing you suggest is the one I'll go for. We've got a big list to get through. Um, but yeah, I can only do one per person. Otherwise, we just would run out of time. Uh, Dara uh, giving this one some dance emojis as well. Vink Zone saying react to Small God featuring Harmonize. Marry you again. We've already got all the listings in for today. Um, all I can suggest, Vink, is getting into the chat nice and early. Um, that's the best way to get your suggestion in before the show starts. Most of the time, the actual tracks we're going to get done are already confirmed before the show starts. Just get in as soon as you see the um, the uh, stream scheduled. You can get into the chat from then. Uh, music Worker saying Third World. Mary Simon saying Nostalgic. Uh, Dominic Andrews saying it was ahead of its contemporaries. Um, Deadly Lord saying Not My Type of Music. That's fair enough. Um, IK Fuego saying I remember singing this at my cousin's home in Lewisham. Amazing. Uh, Dominic Andrews saying I was at college. I was college... I was college freshman in college when it came out. Campus banger. Uh, Latex saying, please react to Good Time by Kids Daniel. Promise you'll love it. I probably will, but unfortunately, we probably won't get time to get into uh, that one today. Um, Dominic Andrews saying, nostalgic feels. Um, Latex, different name. I'll give you that. Uh, But... um, But yeah, um, literally just get your request in nice and early. I don't think we're going to get time for that one today. Um, Out to uh, Deadly Lord saying, oh, I... I presume that's in response to something that uh, Miss Divinity has said. Um, I can imagine why this was a vibe at the time. Yeah, that's definitely it. Um, out to Dominic Andrews saying, this was when Afrobeats was heavily pioneered at university campuses across Nigeria, artists touring campuses in those days. That's really interesting to know. That's really interesting. Every time I try to settle down and have a wife, every time I fail to make them smile, and every time I try not to make them cry, they turn and say goodbye. The very first girl really had the worst words for me. She this video is really I was weird. <laughs> It's sort of a long shot of loads of versions of him. I don't know why. I find it really eerie. Um, But uh, it can't just be me. You're hearing the Usher influence on this, surely. It can't just be me that's hearing that really sort of similarity in tonality, the melodies they're bringing, the overall approach to the verse. It just has a lot of kind of throwback energy to, again, I want to say Usher. That's the person I'm going towards. Usher and Neo. Those two are literally what this sounds like to me at this point. That's why she was gonna break up with me. Even those vocal overlay. This is amazing, man. This is so much fun. Um, again, I can imagine um, why... I can, Im- I, I can imagine that being a reason uh, why uh, this one was so popular at the time. I can hear it. You can hear it in the energy, in the tune, the uh, video. Uh, I.K. Fuego saying, Usher, Neo, and Craig David. Yes, you are right. There's You can hear that. Not necessarily influence, because I don't know. Um but you can definitely sort of hear a similarity at least in the vocal style the way the sort of notes they're hitting the overlays as well the harmonics um they really have that sort of that sort of early r&b sort of sound to it definitely um only apo emmanuel saying my secondary school jam that year was a blast faith with the dancing emojis as well guys it's that time let's get some ratings in on the right hand side of the page i want to hear everyone's opinion on this each and every one of you that is currently locked in get into the chat and let me know your rating out of 10 on this one get involved guys come on come through and let me know Tell me why my sun must always darken into rain Tell me why my heart must feel such pain And why it's so hard for me to explain The way my soul feels drained The very last girl said she knew I'd be ashamed of her She said that I should please forgive there we go. Two minutes thirty of this one now done, and that's all we can. Uh, um, that's all we can do. Unfortunately, I just want to make sure the stream stays up more than anything else. Uh, out to everyone in the chat. Uh, Banks saying, uh, <laughs> "Well, if you're in the chat, you can see what that says." Um, he's also said, "Can't say too much in the chat, so I won't um, say anything else." 
I got you, Banks. I got you. Um, out to uh, Ateca saying 10 out of 10. A classic. Uh, Mary Simon, 10 out of 10. Manu B is 9 out of 10. One of my favorites from then. Um, uh, Faith saying 10 out of 10 as well. Mary Simon saying classic. Um, Komo saying, I know there was other groups, but I only know Style Plus. I have no idea how the others look. We'll have to research that era. Um, I'm going to have to do that as well, to be honest with you. Um, Oliapo saying, my sister cried when they separated. Interesting stuff, man. It's really, really cool, though. It's cool to dive into the nostalgia every now and then. I've got to say... Um, music workers saying 9 out of 10 at tune have a buzz that's what it is though isn't it that does definitely feel there's there's a I feel yeah with certain um, certain tunes there's certain tunes that do have that sort of thing that naturally translates regardless of the era regardless of the production value there's this sort of I think buzz is the best way if a tune has this sort of energy this sort of I don't know this electricity to it it translates I think that's um that's very much what this one has uh, Oliapo 10 out of 10 Dominic Andrews 10 out of 10 could imagine myself in a jacuzzi with a scented candle meditating fabulous stuff um Joey saying hi guys happy weekend good to see you Joey how are you thank you for joining us on the stream I hope you are well uh, Francisca giving this one a 10 out of 10 as well crazy big ratings on this one guys fantastic stuff right we're gonna move forward uh we've got uh three more to get into and we're gonna get into a track that has been very heavily suggested on the channel 